Today we're reacting to my Cypher PK stories from the Battle Bus. This is a documentary Fortnite made about me and my journey to become an icon. Stick around because it gets absolutely crazy. The end of this video is gonna leave your jaw on the floor. And guys, my skin drops in the item shop tomorrow. So be sure to use code Cypher PK and go check out the creative map. Small choices. This is such a cool video. You guys don't understand. Day after day of sticking to it. Little building blocks. Piecing them up. That consistency. Ah, I was looking dangerous. Gave me the opportunity to succeed. Let's go! We did a lot for this documentary. We did a lot to make it happen. To get here. It wasn't easy. The music Being track on this is also crazy. Who I was, what I was doing. I had to go all in and prove it. Those days where I really pushed myself beyond my limits. Oh my God! It's a black hole! Help me understand what I'm able to achieve. Grinding, we've been grinding. I'm not done yet. Oh man, I always chills. had dreams of where I would be. It's Cypher PK! But I never imagined the scope being this big. We went, we went crazy on that, guys. Stick around to the end, because we went crazy. We went crazy. I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. You've never seen this. All right. Most people play video games to escape. But when video games are your job, you need to find more things to do. For me, it's just working on my body. It's going for a little jog, you I know? I was always pretty active growing Ignoring up the cameras. in South Austin, Texas. Little baby PK. I grew up in a pretty competitive household and me and my brothers really pushed each other. A little junior. They'd literally be sitting down and be like, oh, who can bounce this pen on their finger more? Or who can jump higher? Who can run faster? I think I'm the best basketball player because I can dribble the best. That's Basically, cap. All when you go to sleep or when you wake up. <laughs> That's cap, Junior. Having four boys running, it's a handful. My wife and I had to work very hard <laughs> to keep up with these boys. It was very loud. Sometimes I hear big noise. I don't know what, what's going on. Is everything OK? Everything my is not okay. Are like my teammates, we did mom everything and dad, together. Mom and dad, mom and dad, chat. Creating little funny home videos to playing video games. We Look had a game console that we would play on, and we would always see who can defeat the level the quickest, who can beat the level the quickest. And no matter who was playing Cypher, it would always beat all of us. <laughs> I was always really good at solving puzzles, beating bosses. Whenever they were stuck on the level, I would be the one to beat it. They would call me the master of games. That was my title. That was before the Trap King. When I was 11 years old, basketball entered my life. I don't, I don't like this picture of me. I was I did not at look a grocery good store, and I see a lot of people staring at this very tall individual. And some old lady saw me looking at him, and she was like, "That's an NBA basketball player." I think, I think we couldn't, we couldn't name him. him. Cypher Bonto, let's go. But it is uh, seeing Spurs him center, seeing everyone the best Spurs center to ever play or power forward. Store, I was like, Spurs I power that. forward, you know who that is. I don't want to name him because we didn't name him uh, in the that documentary. Time I had never played basketball. You know who it is. My dad went and installed a hoop in our backyard so that we can practice. I remember he was dribbling the ball. It's going all over. He can't even dribble it. But when he wants something, he's committed and he wants to master it. Dude, they made my dad school, and I look really I cool in like these scenes. Six feet tall. I was like, I really need to take basketball seriously and play in high school. But I was in a school that didn't really have a basketball team. 
So I wanted to transfer schools to play basketball. Well, I know the kids that go up to the school right now are gonna go crazy seeing this. At the beginning, I didn't buy that. I said, no, education is more important than basketball. Then I said, I need to see the straight A's to play basketball. And in order for you to go to that high school, you have to go through me. <laughs> you go to that school? No way. <laughs> The only way he will consider for me to go to that high school is if I can beat him in a one-on-one. -on -one. It got intense. Beating my dad in basketball, you, you can be LeBron James, you're not gonna beat my dad. He he will do anything it takes to win. He's pretty big guy, He's hyper competitive. Six, two, six, three, stronger and more competitive. Even today, he does not like losing. I saw Cypher practicing a lot for that game. Very excited and yes, I can do it. Yes, uh, I will do it because I want it. Sheesh. I spent an entire summer taking loss after loss after loss. The summer was coming to an end. I needed to win. Dang, bro, I'm looking good in these shots though. I had to referee the game to make sure that no one's cheating or anything. I've never seen him hustle the way he hustled. He wanted to make that basket. He wants to win. And he won. That's right. I have to give dad the L one time. I had to give him the L one time. It was like beating the final boss in a video game after like hundreds of attempts. He didn't let it happen on its own. I had to actually work for it. It took me a lot of tries. I always wanted them to push themselves and see if this is what they want to do. To always take a challenge and overcome that challenge. No, shout out to my dad, man. He, he really pushed us, man. Kids, my mom, too. It's not easy in this life. You need to earn it. They really drilled that into our head. I guess I was the only one listening because I don't know what my brothers are doing right now. <laughs> Tryouts were literally happening the first week I, I showed up to school. Hey, buddy. That's my coach. A little higher. Make sure you get to that slot. There we go. That was our basketball coach. He's still coaching there. My first day, I had to throw on some shorts and just go in and, and start playing. Mark your feet. Mark your not making the team could not be an option. I had to make the team. Good group. Here we go. We had you know, 130, 140 kids coming to try out. We can only take 12 to 13 on the team. Pretty cutthroat to make the a lot team. Of pressure. On any given day, players were being told that they didn't make the team. I was convinced that that was going to be me. Well, he came in, you know, with a 6'4 frame, and he six had a four, you see? that was six just, four. stood out more than anything. And that was in high school. I'm 6'5 now. If there's a loose ball, I was diving to grab it. Nice look. Nice look. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Good work. We took a the look at it. for me? <laughs> nah, nah. And I say, I think we have room for this guy. You know, we, we need to find a place for him and give him an opportunity to help our team. Hey, the actor, dude, that's me right there, bro. Look at me getting up. I Little think it was baby PK. a sense of relief. Bad if haircuts, I though, bad haircuts. If I did not make the team, I would have been kind of lost because I'm in this new environment, no friends, I don't know anybody. Making the team was everything to me at the time. I felt like I belonged. I went back to the school for the shots right there. Look at that block. Get that weak shit out. <laughs> Get weak stuff out of here. Weak stuff out of here. Basketball and friendly. keeping up with my school activities. And then as soon as I got home, it was a flip. I would hop on my laptop and I would start gaming and start recording videos. Hey, what's up, guys? The RuneScape days. And I'm making this video just to tell you guys what's going to be going on. Look at that on. camera and quality. No one knew about it. I didn't tell any of my friends. It wasn't very flashy or cool. It was like two lives 
happening at the same time. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher PK. Oh, God. <laughs> I started the channel Otto and Omar, my freshman look. year my two with my younger brothers. We need updates. Every video that they would make, I would watch. I would be their first viewer. I would, as soon as they upload it, I would watch it. Even though it was us three reporting the, the at the time, were so he was still the main guy. He would go late night, edit the videos, and polish it, and then upload it. So he did all the dirty work for yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> I spent weeks editing my first video, posted it first week. It got 40 views. I think 35 of those views was me watching it over and over. And then something That's special what happened. I got my first comment. And the comment was just like, nice video. That's, it was just two words, nice video. That was my first ever comment. And that video though is that gone because it was copyrighted. Impacted me. In that moment, I knew I had to keep making content. Oh, my voice sounds. After a year or two of uploading and begging my brothers to upload videos and make content, they didn't want to. They ended up quitting. And then it was just me, Cypher PK. One time I opened the door, and what you're doing? And he said, I'm playing game. I said, Ali, you need to stop. You need to go to your homework and do your homework. And he told me, Mama, one day I will have million of people watching me. I said, oh, okay, whatever. Okay, do your homework. And when this day happened, we'll talk. That's crazy, man. That's Senior year, I played on the varsity team. All the hard work from freshman year till now paid off big time. I can remember when the buzzer went off. That was the first district championship that Cedar Ridge was able to accomplish. And the last one, according to they what got I know. Opportunity to, to cut the nets so down. far. You know, that's every basketball player's dream. In that moment, I felt like I'd achieved something great. Because I pushed myself to the limits, it was something I learned I could do afterwards. When I graduated, I realized that the time has come to make a decision and really figure out what I want to do with my life. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ella scrolls on line yes. days. I started getting really good at the games I was playing, and I hit 10,000 subscribers. I was the best. 20,000, 30,000. Woo! I was the best! I realized, like, there's something special going on here. At the time, it wasn't really that popular to be a content creator. It wasn't really a mainstream thing, but I saw it so clearly. Like, the path I was on as a creator, what I could achieve, that was my dream. I had to go all in. I remember him and my dad arguing. And I remember thinking to myself, like, he's already 18. He's an adult. He needs to understand this is real life. He needs to go to school. He needs to get a job. It's one out of a million or 10 million or 100 million that somebody will be like this. What he wants to be is a, is a dream that is so far. It's good to dream it. It's good to pursue it. But don't, don't put you, all your eggs in one basket. In that time, I'm feeling that he's wasting his time. He's just a kid. I don't see it as a career for him. Ali was excessively spending a lot of time in the computer. I told him, enough, go to sleep, just in an hour. Just in, and then, you know what, forget it. I, I pulled the blog, and he got so mad, so upset about it. From a very early age, I had to work for the chance to succeed. I knew they wanted the best for me, but the best for me at the time was something Ooh. that they couldn't comprehend. I didn't think I was gonna get emotional. Yeah, I already watched this. After a year, I well, I didn't watch the final cut. But I watched in a trash bag. A lot of the segments. Put my computer in a big box and drove off. Oh, man, it was a tough time for me. I'm not gonna lie. I was living in a hotel for a week, trying to figure out what I want to do. 
We went back to the same I went exact to room. A hotel, and I booked my stay for a week. This is the same exact room. They haven't even changed the sheets. It's the same, same sheets. Wow. Same sheets. <laughs> that was that was the hotel I streamed out of before moving out. It was lonely in this room. I was a little bit worried. There was always this doubt that I was doing the wrong thing. It was like the most emotional state I've been in. I can't do this. I'm like not even five minutes out from my house and I'm already like having an issue being on my own. Cleared off everything here. Had my computer set up and I started streaming. They even got the trash bag. I put all my clothes in a black trash bag. Very, very vulnerable and just opened up to, to my community. I didn't know I was going to cry. I saw it and he just looked really dejected and just really like, I don't know, really lost. And I remember seeing the trash bag behind him. And I just really felt for the guy. So I reached out to him. I got a message from this girl on Twitch named Manishi. Where this is where I me and the wife be start talking. In a similar situation right now. So I know the struggle. I just wanted to say you're not alone. Hope everything is well and hope to see you streaming again soon. In that moment, I had no idea that it was gonna shape basically the rest of my life. He messaged me back. And then after that, it was every night talking on the phone, conversation. Daniela and I started dating. And I got my own place. All I had was a little mattress and my streaming station. It was, it was grind time. My life. It I was grind time. Moved out. I never thought I would get this far. And the fact that I have a mix me want to see how far I can really take this. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? In those early days, I had a lot of self-doubt. It was a very crucial part in my life, and she was there to help me. My way of supporting him was like, okay, babe, how do we make this happen? <laughs> You're gonna be great. You're gonna achieve so much. Just keep going. Go, go! I got them all, I got them all. We keep moving forward. In your life, you don't want to be stagnant. After a few years, today is July 4th, 2017. We got our own place. I want to expand my channel. Shortly after we got married, I'm motivated. I'm motivated more than ever. And I started trying this new game. I've been playing a lot of this Fortnite. This part gave me chills. I have a lot of fun playing this game, so I'm gonna continue to play it. It was something new I could master. Woo! Cypher has this way of committing to things. Got him! If he makes up his mind about something, he is going to do it. Oh, let's go! I want to be the best. My goal is to become a legend on Fortnite. I can't believe I said that. I don't remember saying that. Let's start! I was clutching up wins. Another one, another one, and another one. At one point, I had the most solo wins. Get out of here! And most solo eliminations in the world. <laughs> I was more than ever confident in myself as a creator. I started thinking, what more can I do to really stand out? Oh, we did! I, I came up with a contraption called the Trap Tower. We got to get him to use this launch pad. Oh, that's crazy, oh God, man. We just, oh, he it's in the game. game. It's in the game now. Yes. Oh my God. It went absolutely viral. The trap legend, man. You got to look out for him. Everything started taking off. I got to play with legends, Lupo, Tin the Tap Man, and Ninja. That's crazy. In front of 100,000 plus live viewers. Woo. I started gaining traction. He had an entire fan base. Overnight, it just exploded. I went from 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and Twitch to a million that year. 
that was the that first thing. moment of like where all of this really culminated and he was like okay wow like, i've made it it's cyber pk we made it it was unbelievable i was 22 and i'm just like what is happening let's go That My was a really good one. was just changing. That was a really right good in front one. Of me. Two million, three million, four million subscribers. <laughs> we get in W's tonight. It pushed me beyond what I thought was possible. I gotta do it, man. I gotta push. He sees opportunities and he sees openings in places where you Bro, the way my eyes were moving look. there. Oh, the rocket's going up! I had the shine gun activated. 2019. It was the day of the last season of the chapter, season X. Gonna blow it up! This was a big moment. Every streamer, every creator, every player got on Fortnite. Oh! <laughs> Where I'm, dude, I'm off the map. And it all built up. It's a black hole! Oh, the battle bus! The last day of chapter one, man. This is actually happening right now. Chills, man, chills. It's just nothingness. Chills, dude. I don't know what We're possessed me to stay on. It could be days before the game comes back. But I did. And after 10, 15 minutes, people naturally decided to hop off their stream. But I stayed on. I didn't expect that. He's like, I'm gonna stay on till this turns back on. And as soon as that first number showed up. Oh, 146 on man, the screen. You guys are not ready. It says 146. You guys are not ready for any like, of this. No, it's no. game time. It's, it's moving, it's moving. It says 15. Oh, oh, oh 87. Oh. The music that they use People in this is pouring just... into my stream to figure out Love the music. what's going on in Fortnite. 106. Literally hundreds of thousands of people watching. Two. It was amazing. Two. The viewership just kept climbing and climbing. And then every couple of hours, there's been these numbers that are coming up on the screen. We started translating the numbers into words, the words into sentences. It says, I was not alone. Others were outside the loop. That's what the message means, that that has to be it. I streamed for 40 plus hours straight. And we, for the first time ever, passed 100,000 live viewers. It put me that on the nuts. map. I was speechless. I told him so. I was like, I don't, I don't know what to say to you right now. Like that's, what you did just now is like incredible. And, and the grit that you should to like get through that. I didn't know you had that in you. It was mind-boggling watching him. I said, wow, it's happening. That dream he was pursuing, it's happening. He saw something I didn't see. That's lesson for me that not necessarily I can see everything my child are seeing. It was insane. It was ridiculous. I, I, I'm, I'm serious. Like it was, I don't think I'll ever forget that. I don't think that yesterday was a big moment in my life. And my, my old barber but messed up my yet, eyebrows Jack. in this clip. I'm not done yet. Here we what's go. Good, what's good? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Cypher, what's good? Cypher. Yeah, bro. You guys remember we, cool we were streaming man. this cup. Yeah, let's run it. In the past few years, I've continued to grow. Not one, not one. It's gone from a solo act to a football team of people. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Nice, nice, nice. Me and my wife started Oni Studios to help the next generation of content creators. Rex! I don't want them to have to go through the same hurdles I did. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Bang, bang. There's just three teams left. Right now, I'm in my prime. I want to take advantage of that. I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. He has not taken a break. He's coming right now. He has always been the constant variable. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. 
He's one of the hardest working people that I know. When he puts his mind to something, he will get it done. Over the years, believing in myself gave me the opportunity to become who I am today. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And now, ah! I'm the next icon. Let's go! Never imagined, like this is outside of the scope of my wildest dreams. Never did I think that I was gonna be in the game that is played by millions and millions of people. The game that made me and gave me the platform that I have today, I am in it. It's like. It's my greatest achievement. Such a dope shot right there. Look at that shot. Watching him working this hard and achieving all these is make me very happy and very proud. Thank you, Mama. If you're standing all the way in the beginning and you, you're looking at the end of the journey, it might seem impossible. But if you're just focusing on moving forward every single day, you'd be surprised how far you get. Guys, what do you think? You Wait. need to keep pushing yourself. You, you thought we were finished? Because you don't know where the next journey nah. might take you. Sit down. S sit back down. Sit back down. in the item shop tomorrow use code cypher pk thank you so much for watching oh.